Well, everybody, our topic today is a, I think, a pretty general one, although many, many of us don't quite think of it that way, but it's kicking around under the surface and causes us, it erodes lots of our personal peace, and that's what we're going to call the blame game. Now, I have with me today, uh, as a special guest, Nami Osakabe. Nami, Nami is one of our more seasoned practitioners with our Optimal EFT course. Uh has done extraordinary things in communicating with the unseen therapist. It's quite good. And has her own story about the blame game. So let me bring on uh, Nami. Say hello to everybody, Hi, Nami. Hi, Hi everyone. <laughs> Hi. So let's go back over time. It's, it's something you know, I'm trying to put myself in the viewer's shoes for the moment. Blame it. Do I blame? You know, well, we all do. We may not always be aware of it, but we're doing it a lot. Another word for that we have, do we have resentments? Yeah, 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 yeah. But you recognize the blame game. You recognize what to do about it. It was robbing you of your peace and so on. But I don't want to tell this whole story. Go ahead. Start. You, you start telling the story and I'll interject from time to time if need be. Okay, go ahead. So when I first started with Optimal EFT and connecting with the Unseen Therapist, I would, you know, have an emotional unrest or fears or, you know, events that that needed healing. And so I'd work on those and I would ask the Unseen Therapist to help, you know, heal this fear I have. Um, and then I would ask, oh, also, you know, please help heal the other person of the fear that led them to you know, put the fear in me, right? So that was sort of the conversations and the healings that I would ask the unseen therapist to do. Um, but as I did more and more of this work, and especially when um, I found out about the affair, my, my husband's affair, that's when it really struck me that I no longer wanted to constantly be in fear and constantly be in this anger and this sadness and like the emotions that would come up, I would keep asking for them to be healed within me. And I did not recognize that they couldn't fully be healed in me because I still blamed other people for putting it in me. Like I have this anger because this other person did this to me. Well, let and me... If, let me I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to interject a little bit if I can. Okay. That blame, as we've discovered, you know, with our courses and everything else, um, comes from a variety of sources. Actually, it, it comes from you, but it appears to come from a variety of sources. You may have had abusive parents. You may have had, you know, been teased or bullied at school. Uh, teachers may have rejected you. I, I, all kinds of things could happen. And it's easy for us to go blame out there because that's somebody who did something to us, okay? And that's how it appears. Your husband has an affair. Oh, shame on him. I'm going to blame him, da-da-da-da-da-da, okay? And so it becomes real easy for us to blame. But you said something early on. You used a word that I want to romance a little bit about. This word was unrest. We have unrest within ourselves. And I want to go back for the moment just to lay a little groundwork for the rest of what we're going to talk about. Where that unrest comes from, because it too is out of our awareness. If you've read my book, The Unseen Therapist, which is the foundation to all of this, and there's a link for it in the essential links underneath this video, you will recognize that this, this experience with this human experience that we think we're having here where everything is separate from everything else, is an illusion. In fact, this has been absolutely proven decades ago by our quantum physicists. All, and it's also in the book, but all, all atoms are connected. So it's impossible for me to be a separated body from you, Nami, even though it appears that way to our senses quite clearly. Okay, It's impossible to have that be because our atoms are all connected. You and I are part of one. So are all the things on my, in my bookcase behind me. They're all connected to everything else, okay? Just doesn't appear that way. And so our true reality is a oneness that we're unaware of, but it results because we think we're separate and not part of the 
ultimate loving oneness from which the unseen therapist comes. We don't think, we don't think we're part of all of that. We have this unrest within. And so that's how we will see the behaviors of others, the ex- things that go on in the world, even political things and et cetera, as things we can blame. This is important to recognize. We will blame those things out there because we would rather do that than look inside and resolve, which is what we're trying to do here. Okay. So that's really important to recognize. It, 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 it's not the kind of thing that it's not an everyday thought, but that unrest you talk about causes us to blame. We got to do something with the unrest. So we're going to blame. Okay. Now the thing about blaming out there is that, is that it only helps seems to help temporarily because tomorrow you'll be blaming it again. (laughs) And even the same people for the same things often. But anyway, I want to lay that down. So you have been playing like everybody else, the blame game for a long time. Yes. Yes. I think my whole life I could blame my parents, my sibling, my classmates, my teachers, friends, like the unrest in me, I didn't have the tools to deal with. So I blamed it outwards and I was okay for a little bit, but then it'd come back and it's just the cycle repeated. But when I found out about my husband's affair, of course I would blame him for that. But the discomfort and the unrest in me just became so great. And because I had been working with the optimal EFT program and the unseen therapist, I recognized and I had a tools, I had tools to recognize that, oh, if I continue to blame everyone else for the unrest in me, I will never fully heal. I had to take responsibility for the unrest and look at the roots of it. So the roots of it being in childhood, the roots of it being in certain events, the roots of it being certain global themes and table tabletop themes that I had adopted, right? Like that I'm not lovable. Um, I'm not worthy. Those are big things that like I was really, I had been doing a little bit of work on scratching the surface of, but when something like that big unrest hits you and I blamed and blamed and blamed and it didn't feel any better, (laughs) that's when the work, I had to start doing the work and start to address it within me. And it's still not something I can practice on an everyday regular basis where I immediately feel like, oh, I need to take responsibility for this. Um, I can't blame my child for, (laughs) you know, causing me stress because they're throwing a tantrum in the street, you know, like the blame can happen so easily to everyone around me. But the more I recognize that I don't have peace if I keep blaming everyone else around me. If I can take responsibility for the unrest, ask the unseen therapist for help and work on the healing, there's peace that can then be maintained. And of course, then I get hit with another trigger. Of course, I'll want to blame someone for it. But because I know that that didn't work for me, that blaming others hasn't brought me peace, hasn't brought me healing. I am sometimes reluctantly, but sometimes willingly doing the work to take responsibility for what comes up, for what I want to blame others for, recognizing that they are really, yeah, just a mirror for me to see what's not healed within me. One of the um, questions I ask people, I haven't done it for a while, but I'm, maybe we'll do it. Maybe I'll ask our viewers this question. If by some magic, if by some magic, we could wave our hand, and all the things you wanted to blame, all the resentments you had, for example, and so on, all of that stuff just got resolved out there. All of it. Just the people who were doing you in apologized or whatever. All the stuff you blamed out there, they just all went away. How long would it take you to replace them? Now, that's an interesting question, (laughs) okay? Because people haven't really thought about that before. But the answer to that is very little time because we have with this unrest and we don't recognize it. You don't find this in the psychology books or the medical books, at least as far as I know. Okay, We have this need, this unrest is a need to, we have a need to blame. So if you, if you solved everything out there, you still have a need to blame and you'd find something else. 
and it would show up quickly. Okay. <laughs> and so when you talk about, gee, that's robbing you, my term, but robbing you of your peace, it will continue to do that until you recognize that it's really the unrest within that's causing it. Isn't, although it seems that way, it's not all those things happening out there, right? Very important, very important. So we do that with specific events. We, you know, we we go back to we go back to you know specific things in our in our lives, and and we we can collapse those quite easily. And so we get better and better and better at it. More peace, more peace, more peace. I don't know if you have more to, to go on that, uh, Nami. Do you? Do you have more to say? Uh, other examples or anything? And just another step from that when. I started to take responsibility for the unrest within me and stop blaming everyone around me. It really is stepping into sort of being in my own power. It's empowering because then I'm no longer the victim. My whole life, my childhood, all these things that happened to me, I was the victim. I played the victim and said, other people are to blame feel bad for me, feel sorry for me, all these terrible things are happening to me, and I played victim. But if you're the victim, you can never do anything about it. You can't get out of it. So by taking responsibility to say, okay, I am blaming you because I haven't taken a look at this like deep, deep buried resentment in me, I am in control now. I have the power now to do something about it. And through Optimal EFT and the Unseen Therapist's help, it's a tool that's helped me to do that. When before, when I was younger, I did not have these tools. Okay. So it can be empowering. Yes, it's difficult to look at everything. Yes, it's quite a bit of work and frustrating at times to not offload these like big negative emotions onto like other people around you. But when you do that and you do the work of it, the peace that you get left with and the empowerment of knowing when things come up in the future, I can do something about it. I can bring my own peace. I can be responsible for bringing love and peace and joy into my life. I, I have the power to do that. You know, it's not that these terrible things are happening to me and I'm just at the mercy of, you know, the environment or, you know, evil people around me, you know? So it's, it's quite a gift that you can give yourself. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And uh, the, the thing I want to point out here is that even though you have gone in this regard, many steps up our stairway to miracles, we call it, it's still a process. That doesn't mean you never fall into, oh, I'm a victim and somebody bad did it. And, and you, you still fall into the blame game. I do too. In my, myself, I catch myself at it much, e much earlier, relax about it much easier, et cetera. But I, it's still a process for me. And I assume it's a process for you. Absolutely. I think that I am also, like you said, trying to catch myself, catch myself sooner so that I'm not yelling and blaming my kids for, you know, days and weeks over things that I catch myself in the moment and ask the unseen therapist, okay, what's been triggered here? Why do I have this unrest, this like anger towards whatever's happening? Let me work on healing that rather than, you know, spewing my anger out onto my family members, my children. So it's catching myself sooner and then having the grace to forgive myself. Yes, I'm still a human being. That's what egos do. But yeah, forgiving myself and then making a point to do the work of, okay, this was triggered. Let's get to the root of it. Let's bring healing to that so that this doesn't repeat itself and I don't have to find myself, you know, screaming. <laughs> out in out at a shopping center you know like it's it is catching myself and then healing that and then you know what i'm still human it'll happen again and again but hopefully less frequently and hopefully i won't be in unrest and distress for such long periods of time like i used to be yeah so your your, your periods of distress become less less often less impactful less in, less length of time they're shorter okay and so on wonderful great message great message uh nami i don't have anything more to add to you 
No, thank you, Gary. Okay, great. All right. Listeners, I hope you got a lot out of that. We'll see you next time.